first of all, with apple production, what we need to understand is that we're dealing with a lot of variability within orchards. And first thing to understand is what is that variability and make sure you have a, a good, what we call a soil audit of the, of the orchard. Um, using site-specific sampling, a good overall profile of what, what's going on in the orchard. Every one of these trees is in a, in, a, in a management zone and it's worth your while in production of an orchard to know and treat each one of those areas individually. So once we have that information, we want to make sure before we plant this orchard that one, the pH is where it should be because now we have to lime. Uh, if phosphorus and potassium levels are low, this is the time to fix it, uh, or at least bring it up to what I call a, a, a good medium level. From there, we can start adding some of that in season or every spring. When we look at overall fertility of an orchard, um, nitrogen is not my biggest concern because I can spoon feed nitrogen. Um, nitrogen, 75% of what we put on get, gets into that tree that year. So uh, it's not difficult to get it into the tree in, in many different forms. Things like phosphorus and potassium, only about 15% of what we put on gets into that tree. So we have to rely on soil reserves to supply all of that uh, and it's not nearly as easy to do. So. I don't focus on nitrogen application because I can do that throughout the season. I focus on up, up front um, applications of phosphate and potassium to get the orchard prepared to, to plant. From there we still put on good levels of phosphate and potassium based on the crop load we take off and some of the deficiencies we see in season with a, a good tissue sampling program or fruit sampling program throughout the season. Um, then we always have to be prepared that each season is going to give us challenges. And if you're monitoring your orchard throughout the season, um, you can respond to some of those deficiencies before they come, become a real problem through uh, foliar applications or side dress or top dress applications of many different products from the market today. Um, varietal differences, uh, particularly this variety, Honeycrisp, is a difficult uh, crop to grow because it's basically one of those varieties that needs a lot of tender loving care. Uh, this particular grower has, has gone the approach of lean and mean and trying to keep the thing um, uh, slightly on the, on the deficient side so he gets the maturity he's looking for. Uh, with that I think he's running the risk of getting into more problems uh, and, and losing a lot of potential in year, yield and quality. Whereas I'd like to make sure things are well balanced, feed the thing to adequate levels and see if we can't push it for that extra uh, 300, 400 bushels that uh, he, may be, he may be missing. Um, so it's, it's all about how your approach is to manage it. Uh, this particular variety is worth a lot of money. Uh, again, each zone, each tree is in a particular production zone and because of the value of this crop it should be, it should be approached that way.